Is there anything better than having a hot cup of coffee, playing some video games on a rainy day like today? Maybe one thing, a bug free TV. And yes, I know it's an annoying topic actually, but we have to talk about this software firmware bugs on TVs and in this case on my LG G2, but I had a similar, or well, not a similar issue, but I had a bug on the CX a couple of months ago as well. In this case, it was very annoying and there was actually just one solution at the end what fixed it. But let me start from the very beginning. You know that I'm testing a lot of games for the best HDR settings. And when I'm doing my testing, I'm also looking for HDR black level rays or elevated black levels. So for people that don't know what I'm talking about, when you play a game in SDR, then everything is okay in terms of the black levels. As soon you play a game in HDR or VRR, I have to say this as well, verbal refresh rate can also elevate the black levels, but usually it's really more when you switch to HDR. Anyway, when you play in HDR, you can have instead of perfect OLED black, you have suddenly a grayish picture. And of course we don't want this because we have OLED TVs and we like to have perfect OLED black. So what is perfect OLED black? Let me explain it like this. If your display on any OLED TV are 100% black tests pattern and your room is completely dark, pitch black dark, you shouldn't see your TV at all. Maybe just a standby light, but that's it. Nothing on the screen. This is perfect OLED black. But I told you already in some games, especially when you play in HDR, there is no such thing anymore than perfect OLED black. But usually you can avoid black level rays in HDR games by decreasing the brightness or playing with the fine tuned dark area settings on the LG OLED TVs. But in this particular case, and I tried really everything, I actually decreased brightness to zero and the fine tuned dark area settings to minus 30, I still had elevated black levels. And because this was the first time this ever happened, I was very curious, what is the problem? Is it the game? Is it the PlayStation? What's going on? So I connected, of course, my Xbox on the same HDMI input and I had the same issue here as well with games or applications where I was very, very sure I never had this issue before. So I ruled out PlayStation and Xbox. I tested, of course, different HDMI ports and at some point I also connected my PlayStation and the Xbox on my CX and I was very surprised because on my CX there was no such problem with elevated black levels in this particular game. So after I did all the testing and I verified actually that the problem is not within the game or on the PlayStation 5 or Xbox, I checked my PC on my G2 and I found there was no such problem with any elevated black levels, but there was a difference in terms of the yeah, settings. And the main difference between my PC and my PlayStation or Xbox when I'm connecting this to my G2 is the labeling from the HDMI input. So on my PC or when I'm using my PC, my HDMI input is labeled as PC and I'm very sure the LG OLED G2 is doing this actually on his own. So I never changed it, but when I double checked it, it was labeled as PC. I'm very sure it's doing this on its own because it's also recognizing PlayStation 5 or Xbox, which the CX can't do. But anyway, that was the only difference and it was very interesting because as soon I changed the label from PC to HDMI or yeah, video game console, I had race black also on my PC. So let's cut the long story short. I really tried everything to get rid of this black level race on my G2, but as soon my HDMI input was not labeled as PC, I had this black level rays and I checked my picture settings. Of course, I tried all the different inputs. I tried new cables, but I mean, it didn't happen on the CX. So there was clearly no fault on the PlayStation 5 or Xbox or cable or the PC. It was clearly something with the TV. And the only way to get rid of this annoying new feature was actually to do a factory reset. And I like to make this very clear. I do not recommend to do factory resets just out of fun because you will lose all your apps, all your 
passwords, all your calibration. This is actually the yeah, most important part actually because you can reinstall all the apps or put in your password. But if there is a calibration on a, on a TV, like uh, maybe made with Kalman, then it's very hard to get those or it's actually it's not even possible to get those readings out from the TV because they are actually stored within the TV and not within the picture settings. So doing a factory reset is the last option when you have an issue with a TV. And in this case, the only option, because as soon I performed a factory reset on my LG G2, I had no problems anymore. There is no problem with elevated black levels on any HDMI port right now and it really doesn't matter how I label the input it's fine it is fixed now this is very annoying because doing a factory reset as I told you already is deleting everything so make sure if you have a calibration on your TV and this calibration was done within the server uh, not sorry within the picture menu then write down the values before you perform a factory reset but again it shouldn't be a mandatory thing to do a factory reset after a software firmware update. LG, you need to be a little bit better than that. Okay, my friends, so that's it for this video. Put in the comment section if you're experiencing the same issue on the G2, but you need to do the test actually in a complete dark room. Otherwise, you will not see there is any black level rays because in an environment like this, you have no chance to see it actually. So it wasn't that um, how should I say, it was not that of a big problem in terms of the black level rays, but we have an OLED TV, so we like to have perfect OLED black. And yeah, in a pitch black room, I was clearly, oh, it was very easy actually to spot the TV with this bug because it is supposed to be black and not grayish. Anyway, put in the comment section if you experienced any bug on any TV, and uh, maybe how you were able to fix it. And also, of course, I'd like to know if you are yeah, still experiencing an in-bug, maybe in terms of uh, audio return channel bug on the CX. I still, I still think there is something going on in this case. But anyway, um, this is annoying. Um, thanks God it was easy to fix. Um, my calibration is gone on the TV, but anyway, I was going to do a new one. And yes, I will go and or I will share my calibration at some point with you when I'm happy, happy with that, okay? When, when I'm happy with my calibration, then I'm going to share it with you. Um, and I know some people will ask, what is actually running on my TV? So this here is the standard screensaver from Windows 11, okay? I don't know how it is called, but it's the standard screensaver Windows 11. This one here is called Liquid Skies from YouTube and I hope it's not copyright protected. Anyway, that's enough for this video. I wish you a great Sunday and hopefully no bugs on your TV.